The last two performances, very impressive. And, you know, this was a guy who at one point we were saying maybe he's the guy to beat John Jones. And of course, you know, not trying to get too crazy, but it looks like he's on a path now and light heavyweight is is somewhat wide open. What, in your opinion, has been the difference as of late? You know, he was he's you've you've got athletes and you've got fighters in MMA. There's a lot more athletes than fighters. Johnny's very much a fighter. And when he got in, first of all, he kind of fought purely on instinct. He's an absolute genetic freak. Some of the things he can do. I always remember the story, his first time ever sparring in my gym. And he was sparring that, that guy that's not not as tall as him. Very few people are, but he's probably about six foot tall. And Johnny uh, like fainted through a jab at him. The guy kind of flinched and closed his eyes and Johnny jumped completely over him, just, just what? jumped over his head and landed on the other side of him. And so the guy, when he kind of <laughs> opened his eyes, there's nobody in front of him. He's, wow. He's looking around and I'm just scratching my head going, okay, well, this this guy, <laughs> this, this is not normal. And uh, even some of the stuff we've done with the brain testing is, ha- is, is eye coordination and his, his ability to pick up things is, is off the charts. He's a very unusual uh, human. Um, but there was some lacking in the fundamentals of fighting, let's say, that he could sometimes get away with things that normal humans couldn't. I, I, my gym is probably more well-known for, like, bantamweight to welterweight, and suddenly I had this massive uh, guy that will, no doubt, finish his career in the heavyweight division. Um, so it just, just tidying up some of those kind of fundamentals in, in all the areas of, of mixed martial arts. 